I don't know. I've never seen it in basketball, so I've never seen it in NBA basketball. So, what did you see? Because I need. I want to. I want to hear what you thought. Well, all I got to say is Dirk Nowitzki got put on the court for doing the same shot. So Kyrie, Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, Kevin Durant. Nah, this, 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 for telling the truth in this league gets you fine. So I'm good. No comment. Like I said, telling the truth gets you fine. So no comment. To relax, uh, gave up 45 in the third, 35 in the second. That's the game right there, really. Um, some things, you know, that we, we should have done way better. We were doing great in the first quarter. Um, sh credit to them, they got smarter in the second. Um, but there was a lot of things that we let go that we could have controlled and, and put the game out of reach. Um, but, you know, it, it hurts. This one hurts. I mean, when you lose Pat, you lose Ant, you lose the hometown kid in his hometown game. Uh, pretty difficult. It's pretty difficult to say the least. Just, 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 just keep breathing. That's all I can say. Just to continue to breathe. Um, pray. And just uh, it is what it is. Fight through whatever, whatever adversity you gotta go through to get the win. You know, um, I I ain't up here to give you a, a Dak Prescott kind of quote. So I'm just no comment. What happened in the locker room stays in the locker room. Uh, I understand him. I heard him. So go from there. Hey, Carl, we'll start with questions on the Zoom from John. John, go ahead. Hey, Carl, sorry, I couldn't hear Chris's question. So sorry if you got, if I, if he asked this, but like when things are not going the way that you guys want them to, or, or that you guys believe they should go, it, what can you do to try and, I, I mean, I guess collectively try and put it out of your mind and, and just push forward the way that it has to be, even if you're, you know, not getting what should be coming your way. Um, just got to keep fighting through adversity regardless, you know? So, um, I know, I know, I, I understand all the questions you guys are asking and everything. They're great questions, but, um, you know, there's a lot of things at the end of the day we could have controlled to, uh, garner a win tonight. Um, did a great job of showing that in the first quarter and, um, uh, you know, we just, uh, we dropped the ball a little bit and, um, uh, you know, um, that kind of, you know, that kind of, uh, you know, it, it hurts. You know, we dropped the ball, you know. You win the game in second chance points, uh, fast break points, rebounds. You know, it, it's tough. It's tough to lose that way. Um, I, I, Coach said that Ant kind of apologized to you guys in the locker room afterward. Just, I mean – what do you feel about, I mean, obviously he's never been in that situation before. Um, and just how do you kind of help him move past it? Um, just, you know, it's a growing experience. Um, but like I said, uh, I understand him. I heard him. I understand him. Um, so all I can say is really, it's just a learning experience. Um, it's unfortunate that, uh, that experience came when he came home and the only time he'll be able to come home in this NBA season. So it's unfortunate. It's a, it's a, it's a shame. We'll go last question to Dane. Dane, go ahead. Carl, this season, um, you, you know, you guys are right at 500 and, and there's just a lot more on the line every game, as you've kind of talked about. Um, how, how is that different just from like a mental standpoint? Um, every night, I, I would imagine some of that is is fun and and exciting. But well, how does that kind of weigh? Um, I am so sorry. Say that question again. Sorry, it's a little long. Just 
just that every night there's just a lot on the line this year, right? And being being at 500, how much of that is exciting and how much of that is pressure? I mean, it's, it's exciting, you in the hunt. I mean, that's what we all ask for. I wouldn't feel it's like pressure. Um, um, this team this team says that they want to make the playoffs. This team says they want to be great. So there's no pressure on that. I mean, we work hard. Um, we do we do everything possible. We got a great coaching staff. I've said it before. And uh, I don't think there's more of a pressure. I think it's just a fun. It's fun, you know, to be in the hunt. It's fun to be winning. It's fun to have a chance to make your mark in, in NBA history and to make it in Timberwolves history as well. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's pressure. I, I just think that, you know, it, it comes with a lot of learning experiences too, being a, 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 a possible a playoff team, you know, uh, comes with a lot of adversity. It comes with a lot of uh, trials and tribulations. It comes with a lot of uh, um, highs and lows, you know, peaks and valleys. So uh, we just got to stay, you know, stay the course, stay together and um, continue to find ways to get better every single day. Uh, make it a mission to, you know, every single practice, every single workout, every single game, get that 1% better be better than we were last game, last practice. And um, at the end of the year, um, put ourselves uh, in a playoff position and playoff spot, but taking that 1% every single day will add up. And when we're, in, when we're in, you know, trying to make that run in the playoffs, then we will have that, uh, that foundation and have that, that, that connection that's needed to make a deep playoff run. Thanks, Carl. Thank you, Carl.